Hi, I'm Sarah Sheehan. I'm Bobby Sheehan. When we began our first film, Mortal, which is about life and love and loss, we realized that the subject of hope and about grieving was a very, very rich one. Hope means a lot of different things to different people. And the subject of grieving is a very vast one and one that we knew we needed to explore even further. So we started on this journey of hope into exploring all these different stories and organizations of people who are working with grief. And please watch our sizzle video and you can see the beginnings of hope. We hold the memories of those that we cared for, that we loved, that were a part in the making of our characters. And when they pass, those memories will come back when you need them. They become voices of intuition and of guidance. Emotionally, there are times when it just hits you like a wave. That wave comes and knocks you over. That's what mourning is. It's a wave, but you get back up and you recognize that you can still navigate the waters. Grief and bereavement and mourning are absolutely essential. I remember waves of grief rising up in me like a huge undulation in the ocean. It's a journey that you don't want to try to interrupt or try to abort or try to suppress. All you can do is go with it. I want you to know that people talk about you and it's clear to me you are much loved and very much missed man. Through the process of loss, there's always the opportunity, through the suffering, if you pay attention to it, to learn about yourself. The gifts will come out of yourself, rather than having someone give you the answer. What was Skip's legacy? When in doubt, do the right thing. And please help others. You must help others. Three years into my medical practice, my father committed suicide. And that was a tremendously devastating, disruptive event, not only as a daughter losing her father, but as a daughter who was a doctor. I was not able to save my own dad. I finally got this inspiration to try volunteering for hospice. The moment I saw my very first patient in their home and sat with them as they were dying, I knew this is actually the kind of doctor I have always been meant to be. What I'm trying to share with you is what we learned from our dying patients who taught us many lessons, not only about dying, but really about living. The blessing of sudden loss was that it taught me at a very young age to never ever take anything or anyone for granted. Life is impermanent. Things do change. Death is an event. Grief is the journey. People say to me all the time, oh, you're the death and dying person. And I say, no, I'm the life and living person. We need to find meaning and purpose. If we have a purpose of being on this earth, we're gonna be able to somehow survive loss. I'm a mom who's lost her only son. A mother has survived. A sibling has survived. Our purpose is to give voice to everybody out there that's had a loss. There is hope again, and there is joy. And we always say, if you've lost hope, please lean on ours. You know, grief isn't a mental illness. It's, it's not a physical injury. It isn't something we can take a pill for or, or put a Band-Aid over. I wish we could. But grief is just a broken heart. It's the price we pay for loving someone so dearly. It's the gratitude of the life. Thank God for the little while, not lamenting that we didn't have longer. One day we wake up and we no longer want to tell the death story. We want to tell a life story. I'm not going to put my entire focus on an event that was their death. I'm going to put focus as well on their life, which was a gift. I did have a dream visit from my daughter, Michelle, after she passed suddenly, almost 25 years ago. I felt her presence and it became a mission and inspired an organization that I founded, COPE, that connects families who are grieving the loss of a child. This was my lifeline. Something like the death of a loved one is a deeply soul-making experience that really does engender wisdom. One of the characteristics of wisdom is hope. People say to me, wow, it must really be depressing working in the field of grief and loss. It is so much fun. We take people at their darkest, most painful places and we walk the journey with them into a place of light and hope again. Yeah, adding hope to the darkness. You start on the trip to recovery.
Hi, I hope you enjoyed our sizzle video and please choose reward at any level that feels comfortable for you. We really want you to join us on our mission of hope.